In this video, I'm going to share with you a concept that will allow you to completely glitch out when your opponent is using Cloud Flats as their primary deep um, Mabel zone coverage. We're actually going to take a little glimpse into Curl Flats, but we're really going to focus in on Cloud Flats as a purpose of this video. So thanks for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, my name's Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. My channel is all about focusing on helping people like you become the best bad person that, player that you can possibly be. We try to help people get better every single day by posting videos that can help you get better on the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. And so today's video is going to be a little bit more of a concept or a technique. You can do this for multiple formations. We're going to show you how to do this from bunch tight end, but you can do this from trips tight end, bunch, and bunch tight end, and pretty much anything in the entire game. Now, before we dive too far into this, I do want to let you know about my true fan membership. And what a true fan is, is it's a member of my channel that is completely committed to actually getting better at the game. And so what we've done for our true fans is we provide every single week three exclusive videos that don't get posted on my public YouTube site. It's actually uh, a little bit more of a private uh, area for me to be able to dive really, really deep into some of the nuts and bolts of this game. And so if you, wanted, if you want to sign up for that, there's going to be a link in the description of this video. But basically, you get three new videos every single week. You get an offensive meta update. You get a defensive meta update that up that basically allows you to know what the most advanced tactics are on the offensive side of the ball every week and on the defensive side of the ball every week. And then the third thing that you get is you get a pro player film study every single week where we literally go in depth and we break down between one and two hours of game tape and really get into the finer points of what you're seeing in competitive Madden. And so if you want to get access to all of that content, 12 new videos every single month. It's just five bucks a month and you can sign up by clicking the link in the description of this video. All right guys, so we're gonna talk today about a concept. So uh, real quick, I wanna show, I wanna share with you, I'm just gonna come out in any, or a bunch tight end PA boot over. And I wanna show you my coaching adjustments. You're gonna see that my curl flats are, or my flats are on 30, my curl flats are on five, and my hook curls are on five. So 30 yard cloud flat typically will do a pretty good job of taking away things like crossers, especially if it's your outside player. So uh, as you can see in this video, I've got this guy right here in a cloud flat, and he's gonna drift out and take care of this uh, this crossing route. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So you'll see this cloud flat is gonna drift and drift and drift right into this pocket, and if I try to throw that, it's gonna be bagged. What I want to talk to you about today is a route that um, that I actually kind of glossed over in the beginning of the season. I was doing this and I didn't even realize it, but we're going to show it to you from a running back perspective first and foremost. So what you're going to see is I'm just going to put my running back on a ghost route. Now some of you might know about this, but I'm just going to put my running back on a simple ghost route. And what you're going to see is this cloud flat on the right that normally would drift to the outside. You see how he comes inside? Let me just show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go into instant replay and kind of break this down. So what happens is whenever you use a ghost route, um, whenever you use a ghost route, so the, the this guy right here is in the cloud, okay? So if you watch him, he's drifting, 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 drifting. And then right there, you see that right there? See how he drifts back to the inside? Now he actually drifts, continues to drift more. You see that right there? But his initial drift to the inside, that little false step right there, is result of the settle up right there by, watch him, and he drifts. So I, it's a combination of the ghosts, and it's a combination of me rolling out. And that's a 30 yard cloud flat. Remember, it's a 30 yard cloud flat, okay? It's not. Um, it's not a 25, so we're really trying to get it to set to shut down this crossing route. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this for, with the bunch on the wide side of the field. Now I just want you to watch the same concept so you can see what's going on. So uh, again, we're just going to set up our you know kind of a basic Mabel concept for PA boot over, and I want you just to watch this ghost route again roll out and you see how he sits right there and he doesn't go to the sideline short side okay here's the here's the principle that we've taken away it actually works better the ghost route principle actually works better 
when you run it to the short side of the field because I want you to watch this. So uh, you'll see here right there. Now watch the seam. Notice that this curl flat is also sitting right on the ghost route. But if you take a if you back up to this guy, watch where he sits. Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, gosh, I can't get the thing to go as far back as I want. But just watch right here. We'll go to this angle. So he's supposed to drift to the sideline. Instead, you see right here, right when the running back settles up, you see how he is parallel. You could literally draw a straight line, and he's going to continue to drift backwards. But as you can see here, he's parallel. What that allows is it allows this wide open throw on the sideline. So the, the takeaway or the principle is if you use a ghost route to the short side of the field, that it's going to do a really, really good job at dealing with the... Um, at, at dealing with the oh gosh what am i thinking about the 30 yard cloud flat now just for the purpose of illustration uh, i want to just spend a few seconds uh breaking down this if it were to come from a purple zone for example so i want to just flip flop them just so that i can give you this really accurate um analysis so 30 yards on the cur or the curl flat five yards on the cloud flat and we're going to go back to uh, bunch tight end and we're literally going to do the same uh, the same exact route so this right here okay now I want you to watch this is now a seam flat and we're going to play our underneath zone as our cloud flat so I just want you to watch how this works and you'll see you see, you'll notice that the seam flat stays inside as well until the crossing route comes into the area. And at that point, it's kind of too late. So that's a seam flat. And now just for good measure, let's show a curl flat because curl flats are a little bit more sideline focused than seam flats because of the, obviously of the name of the route or the zone. So here, 30 yard curl flat, you see that right there. Now that's a different, there's a there's a massive difference in what you just saw. Let me just I got shedded right there. Let me just um, let me just spy the uh, whoops. Let me just do this right here. Just spy all the blitzers just so you can see this. So you see ghost route. I want you to just really pay attention to um, Jackson right here, the safety. Okay, just pay attention to him. Watch what he does. So I'm rolling out, just kind of drifting, drifting, drifting. You notice here that he sits right on it, okay? That's a major difference. Now, I wanna take this uh, concept a little bit farther. So I wanna shift and I want to do um, the bunch now on this side of the field. And I wanna show you a concept that you can use for short side trips, whether it be short side bunch, short side trips tied in, or short side whatever, okay? And the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna shift back for just a moment and we're gonna go put the cloud flats back on 30. Um, so we're gonna put our flats on 30, our curl flats on five. And we're gonna try to basically recreate the concept of a ghost route by using a, um, a hitch route. So if I go into bunch tight end, and you can do this without hot route master, but hot route master just helps, it makes it easier. So I can pick pretty much any play. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to put, uh, for, for this example, we're going to put the square receiver who's outside of the numbers. We're going to put him on a crosser. Okay. We're going to just put him on a simple, uh, crossing route. Let me just get these guys, uh, zoned off. Okay. So we've got Evans on a cross. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take triangle and we're going to put him on a, a hitch and we're going to take Brown. And we're actually gonna put him on a mo or just a simple straight up slant route. So we don't want Brown to go to the left side. We want that hitch to be the only short route on that side. And then with the tight end, we can do um, something like a delay fade. Uh, we could take the running back and we could put him on, we can just block him honestly. It doesn't really matter. Um, if we wanted to, we could put the running back on a uh, option route uh, we could put him on a, a ghost if we wanted it, it doesn't really matter right so we've got this concept now we're gonna motion this crossing route to the right and we're gonna snap right when he passes the tight end right in that pocket and I just want you to watch this cloud flat you're gonna see the cloud flats gonna sit inside 
and we're going to be able to throw this crossing backside. Let me show you this in instant replay. This is a big deal. Um, and again, remember, the concept is a hitch route to the short side of the field. Okay, I'm on the short side. Now, the guy that's in the cloud is this guy right here. So I just want you to watch this. Guy in the cloud is right here. And I just want you to kind of watch how this is going to play. You notice that the hitch, look at how parallel he is. He is literally, you can draw a straight line. Crosser comes into the area. He does absolutely nothing. And as you can see, we've got this nice, easy throw for Tom Brady. Okay? So hitch route plus crosser to the short side always wins. Now, I want to show you why. Um, I just want to show you why you cannot have a flat. So uh, let me just put a flat out there now because I really just want you to get everything that you need from this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a I'm going to set up a hitch and a flat combined with the crosser. So something just like this. Now I want you to watch this concept. So if I if I do this, watch this flat. You'll notice the flat is going to pull the cloud flat outside and as you can see the cloud flat is in a perfect position to be able to take this away. The, the flat zone will pull him back to where he needs to be, okay? So now I want to just shift back, shift gears for just a moment, and I want to show you the same concept, but I want to do it with a 30-yard cloud flat. So again, we'll just pick, you know, whatever here. But now let's, let me show you 5-yard flat, 30-yard curl flat, okay? And we're just going to go over... Uh, with the seam flats first. So these are seam flats that are at 30 yard depth. Okay. So I've set my coverage up. And now I want you to watch. You should see, uh, if we've done our lab work correctly, you should see that we're going to have essentially the same thing happen because it's a seam flat. A seam flat plays inside. So if you watch this, Watch the seam flat. You're going to see it's going to sit inside really easy. And as you can see, we've got that clean throw. Now, curl flat plays curl to flat. So it plays outside to inside. So uh, it doesn't play inside outside. It plays outside inside. So if we set up the same coverage, but instead of using a seam flat, we use a curl flat. I wonder what's going to happen. So we go through. Uh, we put Evans on the... On the um, on the crossing route, we put the running back, you know, like so, motion him over, and watch this curl flat now. You're gonna notice the curl flat does not go outside, okay? So on the ghost route, it actually goes outside, but on a hitch route to the short side of the field, it doesn't do anything. So let me show you that one more time. This is actually a super, super important uh, deal because now you're gonna know what your quote unquote pull route is supposed you need to be using hitch routes to pull zones not uh not ghost routes in my opinion so uh, again if we go with this concept again this is exactly what we want to see so you see here this is the routes i have on the field watch the square or watch that that left side slot he's inside 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 and then he lets him go to the outside as you can see. So he actually did the best out of any of them. The curl flat actually did the best out of any of the zones at getting out there, but he still didn't get out like he needs to. He still didn't do what he needed to do to shut down this route combo uh, for the route you actually want to throw, which is your motion over crossing route. Now, some of this definitely depends, in my opinion, on where you snap the crosser. So if I let the crosser get a little bit more to the outside, maybe right outside the hash, that's gonna probably give him the best chance. You see motions over, and look, that curl flat plays him. Okay, so the curl flat, in my opinion, will play this the best out of any zone and just for the record not very many people are running curl flats as their deep zone right now most people are running cloud flats at 30 yards which you're going to easily be able to deal with with this simple uh with this simple concept of a hitch and a slant okay now if you work this backside, i just want you to watch if i stay in the pocket you see right there stays on it perfectly 
okay? Plays it the way he needs to play it. So that's just some food for thought, something to think about. Um, if they're running, th that's kind of how you're going to know. And again, let me just let me just illustrate this to the wide side just for a moment. Um, let me just go wide side real quick. So if I do this, the cool part is you can use motion hitches as well. So let's say, for example, uh, I block the running back. I delay fade the tight end, right? And then I want to take... Um, God, when I'm putting on a crossing route, and then I'm going to do essentially this concept, right? So if I motion Evans over on a hitch route and put him like right there, what you're going to see is the zone is going to stay inside. Now, of course, the deep blue, you know, took me out, but you see what I'm, you see the idea. So, so you could do something, uh, for example, you could do something like this. So let me show you here. See, I've got this right here. So now, streak the tight end, block the running back, double team over here, um, take your crossing route, and then basically you do this concept right here. So snap him kind of right in the numbers, and then look, the curl flat lets him go, just like that. So this is how you can start completing your crossers even when they use the proper zone drop adjustment. So I want to thank you for watching this video. I also want to remind you, if you want to become a true fan of the channel and get detailed, more detailed breakdowns than even what I went into in this video, you can get access to that uh, just by clicking the link in the description of this video. Thanks a lot, guys, for your support. Again, if you want to become a true fan, it's just five bucks uh, a month to do that. You get 12 videos. I'll tell you right now, one week's worth of content is worth that five bucks. It is really, really, really good stuff over there. So if you want to get access to that, we're going to continue that through Madden 22. So the best players in the world right now are getting ready for Madden 22 by closing Madden 21 out strong. So keep grinding, keep working, keep getting better at this game, keep labbing, don't lose your passion because it's going to make you even better, not just for the rest of Madden 21, but also for the rest of Madden 22. Thanks for watching this video. And if you want to get access to the true fan membership, head down to the description and click that link down below.